Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. Today, we are going to teach you all about compost bins and how to use them to turn normal dinosaur feces into really potent fertilizer. Now, fertilizer is over 10 times as effective as a piece of feces, and this will be one of the main resources we need to worry about from this point on, because we now have an entire organic battleship that is uh, protected by these amazing plant species X turrets but they use fertilizer as ammunition and we're going to need a lot of it. Now on the last episode we took down a alpha tyrannosaur and an alpha shark at the same time and it was a very epic and long battle. But at the end of the battle we actually lost two of our turrets that we worked so hard to grow because they ran out of ammunition. And when a turret runs out of ammo, it immediately breaks, just like you just saw right there. And uh, so we want to make sure we have a very good supply of fertilizer, which will keep us from ever running out of those turrets again. So watch the rest of this episode and you'll see how to do that. You may also notice my voice sounds a little bit different. One of my best friends is a professional audio guy, and he actually gave me a really awesome microphone setup for my birthday. So, I am super excited to bring you guys high quality video and audio now, so I hope this helps you enjoy our videos even more. So before we get started, I need to pick up a lot of dinosaur poop, and I did an entire expedition on my pteranodon just flying around this island and picking up all the dinosaur droppings I could find. But I didn't show you that because it's just not a very catchy episode for YouTube, you know, poop expedition. I, I just didn't think that was going to fly. So uh, I've got a whole bunch of poop here in my inventory. It's great stuff. I smell horrible, but you know, a gardener's life is not an easy one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and learn the engram for compost bins, and that is at level 15. Now I could have had these going for the entire game. I've just been so busy teaching you all kinds of other stuff. Stuff. That's why I still don't even have gloves, and I just recently got shoes for Christmas on my Christmas episode. That was pretty great, because my feet were really sore. So, uh, compost bins are pretty simple to make. They're, uh, you know, not real resource intensive, but I am out of resources in my inventory, because I've just been focusing on poop. So that should be enough to actually craft this compost bin. And, yep, there we go. So I'll go ahead and craft that. And the cool thing about a compost bin is once you start it, it will just continually convert manure into fertilizer as long as you keep it supplied. Now it's a very slow process, it takes an hour to accomplish that for each batch, but you can put enough for two batches in it at the same time. So I'm trying to find a spot here at my base that's not going to be too obtrusive and it's not really going to get in the way of things. And I think this might actually be a decent spot. I may end up moving this at some point later if it bothers me. Now one thing about compost bins is you can actually hear the flies from a decent distance away from it. And that actually really bothers me, so I very well may end up just getting rid of it altogether pretty soon. So now that we've got our compost bin, I'm going to actually fill it up with the supplies we need. Now for each batch of fertilizer, you need three of any kind of feces and 50 thatch. And as long as you have that in its inventory, it is going to slowly cook that over the next hour. And as long as the game stays turned on for a full hour of real time, it will finish that batch and you'll have a batch of fertilizer in there instead of the poop and thatch. Now I'm putting in six poop and a hundred thatch because it has, oh, there's some more poop. That's really nice. It has enough room to make two batches and it will only make one batch at a time. So if I leave all the supplies for two batches in there, then over the course of the next two hours, we'll have two pieces of fertilizer in there, which is great. So I've got a bunch of supplies I've just been stashing here on my little raft. It's totally safe here on Herbivore Island, as long as I don't touch any eggs or punch any dinosaurs accidentally, or if my plant species X turrets don't mature while I'm not paying attention and then start automatically shooting things. So uh, I'm going to put a couple more compost bins down here, and we're just putting these right out on the deck because I'm not worried about anything attacking them here on Herbivore Island. Once again, if you missed how to get here, I've got a full episode that will show you exactly where this safe haven is and uh, how to get here. 
So we now, whoops, we now have two uh, compost bins, and I'm going to try to fill both of them up with uh, all the stuff that we need. And I'm short on poop, so I'll just have to go on another poop gathering expedition. But once again, I'm not going to show you guys because it's just not the most interesting material. So uh, I figured since we've had so many long, hey, come on, that poop just vanished before my eyes. Okay, thank you. Got my back, the little ankylosaur. Also, uh, if you missed where I got Ankylo Ren here and his girlfriend, then um, I'm actually going to show you that in the next episode or two. I just thought you needed a break from all the very long, tedious episodes, and I just wanted to give you something short and simple today. So uh, that's basically all you need to know for producing fertilizer. Now we're back an hour later, and the fertilizer has finished baking in the compost bin. This is kind of like a really creepy cooking show, right? And uh, we now have an example of the finished fertilizer packet and as you can see in the description it has 54,000 nitrogen as opposed to about 7,500 that you get in the medium dinosaur feces so it is much more effective especially considering you can only put 10 fertilizer of any kind in the inventory slots of plant species X so later on we'll show you how to use dung beetles to get fertilizer much more effectively but that's quite dangerous and that'll be for another day so please like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in the next episode thanks so much for watching this video from the ark survival guide if you enjoyed it or found it helpful please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one ark is an amazing game but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it we are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides tutorials and let's play videos that are fun helpful clean and suitable for the entire family there's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.